Maybe it also has to do with Victor not being as consistent in his defense as he was before. I think he's dropped a little bit in, in that regard. That he he looks like he makes a few more mistakes in his defense, and he's not trusting it as much as he did before. Um, so I, I think it's a mixture of those uh, those things. But I definitely feel like his, his stamina and his belief that he can keep going and it will be enough. Uh, has changed, and I felt like it changed when he uh, beat Richter in uh, the World Tour Finals in the group stage. So that was also a physically tough match, but he actually, yeah, he ended up winning it, and he showed himself that it was possible. I know he lost the final uh, later on too, but that is where I felt like it changed, and he then proved again in Malaysia uh, a few weeks later that he could uh, he could beat Richter. Yeah, I mean, you you might be right. I also had that feeling back in the days, like he was trying a lot of things in the beginning of mm. the matches. Mm. It did not work out for him. He wasn't able to get through Victor's defense. Yeah, he, he lost he lost the, the belief that that he was actually able to do it. And, and I mean, sometimes even though he has been losing like ten times in a row to a certain player, you just need that one time, like really, f- like finding out that. It is actually possible, and then you are, then you are like a whole new player because mm. of this, uh, because your mindset changes a little bit. Mm. That, that you figure out that you can actually get through it, even though it seems Im- impossible at times. And I think we saw the same thing with uh, Victor versus uh, Kento Momota. Mm-hmm. Like he lost so many times in a row. I think it was thirteen or fourteen times that he lost to Kento Momota in a row. Mm. But then he finally got through him at the Denmark Open, and then the next few times that they played Kento Momota, I mean, had no chance at all. I mean, they they faced each other in a in a, in a final in uh, in Malaysia. I don't know if it was Malaysia Open or Malaysia Masters, but Victor won. Like the score was like twenty one four, twenty one seven, or something like that. Yeah. That was a crazy one. That was a crazy one. And that one in Denmark Open was still very tight. Actually, I remember Victor was winning quite comfortably. And then Momota came back, and it actually looked like he was going to win it. But uh, I'm, I'm sure you're right that that was a key moment in terms of the mentality for Rita that he could believe that he could actually uh, find ways to beat 